In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add and update your products onto Amazon in bulk. And to do that, you're going to use an Excel template provided by Amazon. This is an Excel system where I actually keep my product data stored. And so once you have your data stored in the Excel system, you're going to simply copy it over to this Amazon template and then upload the template onto Amazon. And that is it. So I'm going to take you through that process right now in this video. And here are four sample products that I have in this Excel system, which by the way is available through a link in the description of this video if you don't already have a copy of it. And the first thing we need is the SKU for each product. And so I will take the product SKUs and I will copy them and then I will go over to the Amazon template and paste the SKUs using the second paste button, the values button. Now for the price, now if you're updating the item but you do not want to change the price or the quantity then you can leave them blank. However, if you're uploading the item for the first time, meaning you're adding the item, you have to put a price. So I'm going to actually copy the prices. I'm going to assume that I'm adding these products to Amazon and that I want them to have the price that I have in this column. So I'll simply, again, you just highlight, right click, copy. Then I'll go over to price, right click, paste values, quantity. Now in drop shipping, we don't actually have the items in stock. So we don't have much var we may not have much variation in quantity normally. If you want to use one, you can just use one for instance and then double click to copy it down. So by the way, this works no matter how many rows you have. I'll just demonstrate that one more time. You just double click and it will fill in for you automatically all the way down to the bottom of your data. Next thing is the product ID, which we are going to use for that we're going to use the ASIN so you just take the ASINs highlight those copy them go back over here right click paste values those are your ASINs then Amazon wants to know what type of product ID you're using because they allow different types not just ASINs but also UPCs and other um, maybe a couple others so you have to actually type in ASIN, A-S-I-N, double click. And when you double click, it will fill in the remaining rows. You then have the condition type. Normally in drop shipping, we're selling everything in new condition. So I'll just put new and then double click and that will copy down as well. However, I do want you to be aware that there are other conditions because even in drop shipping, Sometimes we sell items in other conditions such as collectible like new because some products don't allow you to do brand new. So if you're going to do something like collectible like new, here are some examples used like new, you have to write it out with no spaces in it as we see here. So for instance, um, if I was doing, let's just say collectible like new because I have drop shipped collectible like new quite a number of times then you'll just put collectible like new okay no spaces all right but it's not going to work because this is not a collectible like new situation so I'll just put new here so there is one other column that I would like you to know about and to possibly use which is the lead time to ship and lead time to ship is actually the handling time. And sometimes in drop shipping, we have different handling times for different products depending on the supplier. So we'll go back to the Excel system. And if you're already using my Excel system, it probably does not have a handling time column. So you're going to have to add it. And to do that, you will right click. I would suggest adding it right here. You can right click on this column on the actual letter of the column and then click insert and that will insert an extra column and I would put handling time 
or just handling for short and from now on you can keep track of the handling time now if you have a lot of products in here already and you're saying well what am I going to do well just put a number for now for all the products that you have a standard number that you're using right now and then from now on you will actually put numbers so let's say that the handling time for these products varies let's say the first one is five so another thing this came out as a date that means I need to format this so I'm going to click column H format it as a number alright it's on date because of this and also you can remove the decimal places since handling time does not need decimal places so you can put five and let's say the second one is ten let's say this one is seven and this one is three let's just say All right then I'm going to copy these handling times go over to the template and as usual I'll just paste the uh, handling times under lead time to ship so there are tons of other columns and different things that you don't really need for drop shipping so these are the columns that I think are most important and some are actually necessary so um, once these are filled in you're pretty much good to go and at this point you will just click the save button make sure you save your template you can look it over make sure everything is okay as long as you're organizing your data correctly in the Excel system then you should be fine and so the next step is to actually upload the Excel template so now I'm going to go to seller central and I took all my items out of stock so I could do this video and so now I'm going to go to inventory and from inventory you're going to go to add products via upload and you click on add products via upload and you go to upload your inventory file and you just leave this as the default and then you click on choose file over here and here's the file I have it in a certain folder Amazon bulk upload template I'm going to open it and another option you have is to put an email address here so that they will email you when it's done so I'll just type in my email address and so now I've added the email and once you do that you simply click on upload and the products will be uploaded so depending on the size of your file it may take a shorter time or a longer time for your file to upload it all depends on the file size you'll see that the upload is in progress down here and at some point you can click refresh and you'll see that the report is done the upload is done and you can actually download a report here which you can open to see what it says just wait for that to open up and it will actually give you a summary number of records processed were four no errors no warnings also you can look at your email and in your email you'll get an email address as well with a batch ID and a um, records processed if you have any errors it's going to give you the SKU of the items that had an error and will give you some reason why there's an error it might be something that's missing that needs to be there if it's a new product or it could be a bunch of different things but you have to go through it and see if you can figure out what the errors are and that's basically it that's the process of uploading items onto Amazon in bulk and again remember that if you leave something blank such as the quantity or the price something that is already uploaded onto Amazon it will simply not change that column so in other words let's say these items are already listed which they are now and let's say I want to change the quantities but I don't want to change the prices well I could simply delete the prices and I could just change the quantities and then I could upload this again the same template and because these products are already on Amazon because I already added them before it will just ignore the blanks and it will just 
update the other parts like the quantity or I could even blank that out and maybe I just want to update the handle in time so whatever it is that you want to update that's what you should fill in and whatever you don't want to update whatever you don't want to change you can leave it blank or you can leave it the same but you don't want to just leave it the same if it might have possibly changed so if you don't want to update it I suggest just blanking it out and leaving it blank that's the surest thing to do so um, that's basically it that's the process again there's a link in the description of this video um, if you click that link you can get a copy of my Excel system as well as a copy of this template with it uh, this template is is actually available on Amazon but I don't remember exactly where it is at this moment if I can find it again I could quite possibly put that link in the description of the video however if you're downloading subscribing for the Excel system you're going to get a copy of the template with a copy of this Excel system anyway so you don't have to uh, look for the template anywhere else so um, if you have any comments suggestions or questions please leave them below or reach out to me after you get the email with the system you can reply to that email as well if you want to ask me something more privately more individually um, that's all up to you this is mr mark this is excel for amazon drop shipping thanks for watching and i hope to see you in another video